UAM Animal Science is a really good program, the agriculture program in general is, because we, uh, we do a lot of hands-on teaching. We want you to have practical knowledge so that you can leave and go into the workforce and be productive. One thing that we've done this year is add sheep to our mix. So we want to teach our students how to raise uh, or to handle work, handle, raise this species. So we have uh, Katahdin sheep here, which is a hair sheep. The hair sheep, uh, they produce wool, but they shed their wool naturally in the springtime, which is um, a benefit uh, that you don't have to shear them. So uh, this is strictly a meat breed. In our hot, humid environment, the hair sheep do much better. They have higher parasite resistance as well. They do have a much more of a herding instinct, uh, which is helpful at times when handling them. It's also can work against you if you don't handle, it, handle them well. Sheep can actually be uh, turned and set on the rear end and work. You can, they'll sit there uh, on the rear end and, and you can check, check, check them for parasites. You can trim their feet. You can't do a goat that way and you can't do a cow that way. You know, <laughs> so, you know UAM uh, has cattle and we have a great uh, beef cattle operation. And um, there are benefits to raising sheep with cattle. There's what's called multi-species grazing. Uh, where uh, sheep eat what cows don't like, cows eat what sheep don't like, so they benefit each other in their pasture management. Also, um, they benefit each, each other with parasites. Uh, cow eat the sheep worms, sheep eat the cow worms, and, and they don't develop in the other species, so they actually help with the parasites and intestinal worms. So um, there was advantages to having sheep on campus for that reason. So we have Axel, Rose, and Slash, which are our dogs. Um, so sheep, um, like any species, are prone to predation. Um, now a cow uh, can ward off a coyote pretty well, and a calf grows pretty big pretty quick, so you don't have to worry about it as much. But even the adult sheep, uh, like the ones we have here, are, are prone to dog attacks or coyote attacks, so they need more protection. Uh, so one thing that we do is we, uh, we have livestock guardian dogs. And there's a few breeds that are, are pretty adept at that. We have uh, primarily Great Pyrenees, Anatolian Shepherd, uh, Akbosh, and they, their job is to protect the sheep. Their job is to bark when the coyote shows up and, and ward him off or defend the sheep if the coyote gets in the pen. Here we have developed a course with a lab called Sheep and Go Production that we will be hands-on with these sheep and that will go through in a semester um, the basic production practices of sheep and goats and then, uh, and then the lab will be hands-on where we'll show them how to handle and, and treat and, and uh, manage this sheep herd. I hope that the, uh, this program, it has a lot of potential. There is a vastly underserved uh, community in Southeast Arkansas and really across uh, the South, the U.S. Um, in education, uh, and opportunities for those that want to uh, learn more about small ruminant production. So I hope that we, uh, we fill a void there.